In my part, I wish to convince you that uh, robotic technology will be the most transformative technology for the country in the next 20 or some years. Reason for this is the fact that the country is uh, you know, becoming an aging society. This is a distribution of the three major groups. And in 30 some years, the senior group will be doubled the percentage, which means we are going to, the working group will be reduced by seven some million, 70 some million, and the senior group will be doubled. And this is going to cause two problems. First problem is how are we going to manufacture twice the products with 22 million less workers? At the same time, three times the increase the wages. And a specific example is the 3C industry, which China produced 70% of the global 3C products. So right now we have 20 million workers to do that. And in 10 years, this is going to be reduced by 3 million. So we have a challenging problem to do this. The second direct problem is if we increase the size of the senior group, we need to find a lot of nurses to take care of the elderly. And right now, the ratio between nurse and the senior group is 1.3%. It's very tight. And if we are going to maintain this ratio, we need 5 million nurses to do this. And of course, to address both problems, the answer is to use robots and the robotic technology. And China is already the largest market for industry robots, but the percentage penetration is still low. In automobile industry, we are only one-tenth of the Japan, and the 3C is even lower. So this is a typical scenario of the 3C production floor. It's entirely based on humans. 20 million humans to assemble iPhone and iPads. And we are going to see the change from human-based to partially robot-based. Some of the critical features will be replaced by robots working along with the workers. And then once we get into that stage, we move to next level. So robots will replace the remaining features or you know, functions and to achieve a fully automated production line. And the humans will be moved to design, build, and program robots, and maintain robots. So that is the solution for the production floor. This uh, is the picture that in the last eight years, the industry robot market increased by 30 some percent each year. And we are going to anticipate this ratio is going to continue for another 10 to 20 years. So you are going to see lots and lots of robots in production floor. And also slowly you are going to see robots, service robots, home robots, taking care of elderly and also working at homes. You know, doing all those functions as pictured in this uh, painting. You know, the, you know, helping you and they take care of the youngs. And the question is that with so many industry robots and also home robots, and they, how are we going to build so many of them? The answer is that we have to build a pool of critical components and the critical technology to do that. And they like motors, actuators, and over the last 10 years, in my lab, we have a spin-off for four companies. Okay, UAV, motion controller, we have compiled a list of critical components and the technologies needed for the future development. And also, you know, we have uh, taken advantage of the ecosystem in Shenzhen and the Pearl River Delta to transform technology from the lab to production and also to deployment in the factory floors. So this is a very unique situation with Hong Kong and the PRD region. Okay. And of course, we are going to scale up this process by working with the leading venture capitalists, by working with the government in Shenzhen and the Dongguan to build an ecosystem. So more such startups and they also you know, student projects can be transformed from laboratory, from project, and to production and the deployment. So the question I have over here is how are we going to move 
robotic technology from laboratory to products and also deployment in society. This is finished my talk. Thank you.